At this point, I've created two videos about physically improving at OS, addressing two different aspects of that process. This video is the third and final part of this trilogy, and in my opinion is the most important to watch. Every human being has emotions. Before I ramble in the sad, sappy poetry land with this, I only want to mention that those emotions can prohibit you from improving. Many players across the community have expressed in one way or another that they don't seem to be improving no matter what they do. They've tried following guides, watching videos, actually playing more, perhaps upgrading their equipment, and yet nothing. No improvement. Well, let's begin with this. What do you feel when you open and play this game? Or when you're in the middle of a map? Or how you comment about yourself when talking to others? For the last two questions, if you're extremely hard on yourself or consider yourself trash, then perhaps that's where the problem lies. Negative attitudes are derived from your emotions and feelings about the game and how you treat yourself. The three main emotions that I see periodically are anger, disappointment, and anxiety. Wow, I just listed possibly the three most general emotions that every human being, including myself, has handled. But how they develop into unique attitudes depends on how a person deals with those emotions. Some do really well at regulating them and flourish as a player. Most, however, continually bash themselves into the ground while believing they can do better, and eventually plateau or quit altogether. Let's begin with anger. Players that get tripped up by anger believe that they should be constantly improving at nearly all times. They're never in a pleasant mood about the performance on OS. When they don't meet their expectations of themselves, they can lash out and be extremely toxic to others. Sure, you might see these players quickly rising up the ranks, but they're never satisfied. Remember though, it's great to have an attitude where you wish to continue improving, but where do you draw the line so that it doesn't become destructive or negative? You should draw the line when you begin feeling dissatisfied with yourself. It's an indicator that your expectations are way too high and that your performance can't keep up. This most frequently happens at lower experience levels, specifically six digit players. They have a basic understanding of how the game functions and feel like they can rank up quickly, especially with the abundant amount of farm maps available. However, when the maps quickly become more challenging or they can't keep up with them, that's when the disappointment sets in. That disappointment is what can drive people to quit this game. Angry that they can't improve, and then disappointed in themselves for not reaching their impossible standards, players decide, correctly, to quit the game in the name of better health. That's a double-edged sword though, because it potentially sends an internal message to yourself that you can't achieve certain things because you're not good enough. That attitude you know what, becomes it, even I'm more of a problem so when you physically say it out loud or text it to someone. If you say something to yourself repeatedly, over and over and over, eventually you'll begin to believe it. Anxiety is the final pernicious emotion to your improvement. It's not always the direct cause of not improving at the game, but it's certainly related and damaging. Feeling stressed because you're not setting new top plays every so often, or surpassing your friends, is a prime example of where anxiety can hurt you. And then, when you go to make those plays, you begin doubting yourself. Even though anger can damage your physical surroundings, say your keyboard or desk, and the disappointment can demotivate you, the anxiety of needing to beat other scores or performing better brings unnecessary stress to a game that's supposed to be fun. Remember, we're supposed to be clicking circles to our favorite songs, not stressing out over not setting a new top play. Stress about school or work, not some two-dimensional circles. These emotions are detrimental to improving at OS in any capacity. Sure, you might have a physical barrier, like not being able to stream a certain speed, but when it diffuses to your mind and you lock yourself into a dangerous attitude, that's the inevitable end. So now let's devise some ways to help keep these emotions and pessimistic attitudes in check and feel better about our gameplay. I could ramble all day about these problems, but if I never attempt to provide solutions, then there's no use in discussing them. One thing that blankets over everything I've mentioned is speech. Saying, I'm bad, or I'm not improving, or I'm never going to set that score, 
is never helpful in actually achieving what you want. How about changing I'm bad to I'm not very good? I'm not improving to can you give me some tips? I need help improving. And I'm never going to set that score to I'm not capable of doing that right now, but perhaps in the future. Since you're almost always connected to someone via text or voice channel, I would consider this behavior change the most important. Every one of these modified statements includes something positive, or at least an aspiration to be positive instead of being completely negative. Getting into the habit of saying positive things, or at least trying to change your pessimistic comments may not appear like it would help, but it definitely does. After all, it's something that could take weeks, months, or even years to see the effects of. But imagine it like this. Once you say one positively oriented statement, you give a snowball the first push down a long hill. However, the only rule is that the snowball disintegrates if you regress back to saying despairing comments. So the idea is to continue saying optimistic things, and the snowball will progressively increase in size and roll faster. Eventually, you won't feel forced to compliment yourself, and the snowball is moving too quickly to disintegrate. Like I mentioned before, it could take a while before you reach that point, so don't lose faith in yourself. The next thing you need to do is lower the expectations you place on yourself. That's rarely an easy task for most people. Without those high expectations, many players argue that they might never play well again. Ultimately, they've achieved a lot with their current standards, so why would they change them? They don't see any feasible reason to. Now, normally I might have difficulty explaining why these expectations are impeding you, so let's incorporate another visual. The reason why it's so difficult to drop expectations for some people is that they're holding on to them with a tenacious grip. But you can't really accomplish much with a constantly clenched fist, right? Can't type, move your mouse accurately, hold something, etc. However, if you begin to let go, your hand begins to open. After some time has passed, it will be free to conduct whatever it wants. Of course, your intangible expectations can't physically hold a mouse. That's not the point of what I'm trying to describe here. The takeaway is that loosening your grip on ridiculously high standards will allow you to perform on a level that may seriously surprise you. Now, a very important distinction to make is that dropping your expectations does not mean that you abandon your goals. It's crucial to set realistic goals for yourself to surpass in the future. However, goals and expectations are not the same thing, but they definitely are associated with each other. For example, one of my goals is to FC this map by Hobbs 2. If my expectation was to full combo the map right now without any warm-up or preparation, I would quickly disappoint myself. Hence why I only set goals instead. The last important thing I would like to mention is that you continue to play certain types of maps that you aren't very good at. That probably sounds extremely counterintuitive, I know, but allow me to elaborate. If you're much better at farm maps than longer stamina based maps, which most people are, you already have low expectations for those stamina maps. If you concentrate on playing those instead of farm maps, you could surprise yourself with your improvement and surpass those low expectations. This method works best if you're struggling with lowering unrealistic standards because it gives you an instant confidence boost. The three suggestions I've made to help you guys are actually things I've done in the past to help myself. I'll make it brief, but let's travel back to the middle of 2017. I didn't have an active YouTube channel yet and I was struggling as a player. I said terrible things about myself, and actually broke one of my keyboards, all because I set my expectations too high. The entire package. I realized these things I was saying and doing were a problem, and created a plan to try and fix it. And over the last 18 months, I believe I've come far enough to reflect on the progress I've made. It didn't happen overnight. Now, am I impeccable? Far from it. Hell, I still say some pessimistic things that manage to slip through my filter. 
I occasionally throw myself out as well. Those kinds of blunders are insignificant though, so don't allow them to handicap you. Returning to those expectations, if you're trying to improve on your mental health and attitude, you cannot expect to be perfect. No human being standing on planet Earth is and never will be. If you need to repeat that to yourself a thousand times, I'll listen with open ears since I need to hear it too. Thank you for watching this longer video and listening to my advice and suggestions. I truly appreciate it. I hope you contemplate at least some of what I said, if anything I mentioned in the video affects you. If you've made it this far, please consider joining my Discord. The invite link is in the description below. I'd be happy to help anyone with questions or if you simply need someone to talk to. Hopefully you'll hit the subscribe button on your way down, but that's your decision. Have a great day.